Hello everyone. I hope everyone who's watching here today is having a great day. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing aquarium or liquid nails. So over here I'm showing you guys what I'll be using, not too many things. So I got this inspo, which actually I was supposed to do it as a recreation, but it ended up not looking exactly like the the in the the, the 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 picture that I got or the video that I got as an inspiration. So uh, I couldn't call it a recreation. I am calling it an inspo now. <laughs> so it was inspired by dash nails i've always watched and liked her aquarium nails before starting my own channel and i wanted to try them out and then i thought ah, it might be too difficult but since i started my own channel i'm like let me challenge myself but this time i'm challenging myself to do one of her creations okay so you guys will tell me how far off i was <laughs> or how close i came to it you'll let me know so I'm starting off here with um, the tabs that I'm going to use at the free edge and towards the free edge of the tank and towards my natural free edge nail. So they will be, so each nail will need two tabs. So I'm creating four tabs. I mean eight tabs because I'm only doing four fingers today. So the ones in the center that you're looking at now are going to be for the free edge and for the part that uh, is towards my natural free edge, the, the tip of my natural nail, um, I do them on the corners of this scraping tool. And when I start shaping them, I will tell you why I do them on the corners of this scraping tool, my jiggy thing. Yeah, so, but I will demonstrate and show you if, you, if this is your first time, I'll explain it to you further on in the video. So anyway, I wanted to thank everybody for coming to watch here again and whoever is watching this for the first time, welcome. I hope you uh, subscribe so you can see more of uh, these videos. So back to explaining about this for those who are new here. Firstly, I need you to understand if you are not aware, I'm a self-taught <laughs> nail tech. I am doing this, I was doing this for more for fun than for I'm teaching anybody. So anything I do here, I am not teaching you the right way of doing it. I am showing you how I do it. So these tabs, I made sure that they are quite thick so that, um, you know, there's, when you're doing filing, you don't have to take off too much and you still can get like the perfect shape of whatever you want, but it's thick enough so that it doesn't leak there will be no leakage okay what i'm doing now is creating the bottom part of the tank the base of the tank i use this clear builder gel and i don't build a very thick layer um, and i also check the size of it by placing the nail tips oh at first i size them right um and then I size them by marking them to mark. I made a mark where the the first tab is going to need to be placed on the nail, so that my nail will still have a place to um, accommodate the nail tip, the aquarium. All right. So these are now the tabs that I made at the corners of the scraping tool thing. The sharp edges. I use them as a guide to know that this is the center of where it needs to meet the, um, the nail tip, you see like that. So it makes the filing of this tab a lot easier and a lot quicker for me by doing it on the corners of that. I hope you understand what I'm trying to say, but what I'm explaining is exactly what I'm showing right now. Okay, we can keep watching.
Okay, yes, so I do this to all four uh, for the for for all four nail tips and um, the, the pinky is usually the hardest because it's so small and tiny and I've, I don't even have big fingers but it's quite difficult for me anyway um, after this I apply usually I apply nail glue but for those of you who have seen me do it with nail glue I'm also showing you that you can also do it with a clear either build a gel or just a um, base coat or top coat just to adhere the tab to the nail and making sure that it's straight it's sitting straight and uh, sometimes if it's not straight you're gonna have a problem in placing the the base of the of the tank and I will show you one of these nails actually came out a bit crooked but I'll show you which one and it's not it's not really a problem uh, you can work around it and I'll show you what I mean by that when it's time for me to show you how I place a crookedly placed tab onto a nail tip. Also, in my next aquarium video, I will be showing you why I do not like to use you know there are people who do who, who make their aquarium nails by putting a nail tip and then they put a full cover tip on top i will explain to you in the future video as to why i don't like that because i did them do a demonstration and why i don't like to use there are two things i i'm going to be showing you that are different from other people who um generally generally do aquarium nails why i don't do what they do so here the scraping tool i use that straight part and um, the edge of it to be able to um, uh, what can i say align that's the word yeah to align the 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 base of the of the tank against the tab it helps with um the leakage meaning it helps um uh, reduce the risk of of leakage yeah so now i am sizing up um the base of uh, the the tanks to see which one will fit properly because some of them are not cut straight or didn't get cut straight so um i will have to use the wider ones or the ones that were successfully cut or cut, that i managed to cut straight to use that on like the, the wider or the bigger nail tip this time I'm using the nail glue to apply, um, to adhere the, the base of the tank to the nail tip. But I will be using um, the gel again to make sure it's properly sealed. Oh yeah, I was lucky to see this hole. This tab, I mean, this um, the, the backing of this is like, it has a hole. And I hoped that um, when it's time to fill in the, the the tank i will remember that i must first seal that hole i can tell you right now i remembered luckily i remembered okay so i'm gonna adhere all the backs the back panel of the tanks onto the nail tips Alrighty then, now I am um, using, it was a top, a top coat, no white top coat that I used to um, make sure that the sides are nicely sealed um, and the back part of the tank and where the small tab meets the base of the tank. So all holes, possible holes are sealed with the top coat i don't know what kind of top coat this is it's different from the others that i use it peels off and here i am i'm covering that hole i remember to cover that hole 
yeah so it peels off as i was filing you'll see one um one of the nails that i will show you but all of them were peeling but there was no leakage um after sealing these with um with the no white top coat all right and what i do and usually do without fail is after every cure in the uh curing lamp i come back and i wipe all the nail tips this time i made a mistake when i was filing down the nail filing the, the tanks into shape i didn't stuff the free edge with um a stopper so all the um, dust that i was filing off the nail uh, all went inside and usually i don't really bother if i'm going to paint uh, the the tank but because I wanted it to be clear and because uh, dash nails, uh, nails are also clear, I made that mistake of not covering them up. And But then I clean them up because it's not a train smash. Sometimes you do forget. So what I do is I spray alcohol. No, no. sanitizer or just any um, alcohol that you can... Even if you can put water, you can also put water in to clean it out and flush it out and it becomes clear. It's fine. It's not a problem. It's not a train smash. I changed. I don't know if you noticed that I started filing off here with a, a different drill bit. <laughs> and then now I went to fetch the, I think they call this a cone um, one and it's a lot finer the first one was a little coarse so it kept getting stuck on and it made the, the machine jump it kept getting stuck on to the, um, the, the 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 gel that i was trying to file off so i went for this barrel and this barrel is actually finer it's it's the finest one so it just glides through and but the the, the speed is so high the machine still jumps i mean the 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 the, the, the bits the nail bits still jumps a lot so i was using my fingertips a lot to just press and hold a tip sturdy because if i don't the, the machine will go around the whole nail and by the time i was almost done my fingers and my hands were in pain it's it's not a train smash it's just i wanted it to be so perfect and i wanted to do it quickly so by me doing that i ended up uh stressing myself straining my fingers <laughs> um nails these these nails usually take me three three to four hours depending on how much decorations i need to do sometimes it takes longer or it will take longer if i just decided to uh free freestyle my own <laughs> nail set without even uh, thinking it through if i had an idea and i didn't think what all i'm gonna put in i take longer because i keep changing my mind and i keep changing my mind so after i i'm done with the e-file filing very close to the nail not onto the, uh, the, the the tank i use a hand file to actually straighten it up there's there's that uh top coat peeling off but it's still sealed it's still fine um anything else okay dash nails <laughs> there are a few of her creations that i would like to recreate or be inspired by and i will be doing a lot more of those soon so here i am i'm spraying that what i'm using here is sanitizer and i am trying to clean the insides get rid of the dust inside the nails. So here they are, they are clean, they are dry. That's the best they could be. And, but whatever you see in there is actually not dust anymore. So I had to look at the design and try to be as close to the design as possible and usually i start with the pinky that's usually my guinea pig <laughs> i i test out how much stuffing i need to put in i need um if i put in too much or too little and then i check the movement i always start with the pinky so that's what i 
that's the, the, the nail I'm doing now. And while I was doing that, as I was about to pour the um, baby oil, I remembered that I didn't put top coat after I filed the nails. There I am now. I'm doing the last thing I'm supposed to be doing, but I'm doing it now. And I do this to all the nails. And now for the second best satisfying part about doing aquariums, filling it up with baby oil. And at the same time, I am worried that it mustn't have any leakage. Anyway, uh, luckily uh, there wasn't any. So you remember those tabs, the four tabs I, I used? Now I am using a no wipe top coat. I just put a lot of top coat on there so that it can fill in some empty spaces um, if there are any and if they are gonna cause or leave an air, air bubble it will be like a very small amount and it's not a problem it, it used to be a problem for me for those who know but if it's a small teeny tiny one I guess it's not a, a train smash as I thought it would be but luckily not all of them had uh, air bubbles Lucky for me, because then it didn't drive me completely insane. <laughs> okay, now I'm stuffing all the nails and you can just watch this process. Yep, and then we have to still file this off, starting with the e-file to get off the bulk of the cured gel. And then I go back in again with the hand file to shape it nice and straight. Um, throughout my time uh, doing aquarium nails, this part has always been the most nerve wracking for me because there's always been a possibility of it leaking when I am filing this part of the tank of the aquarium nail, of the liquid nail. I was so happy by the time I got to the fourth one after filing, I'm like, not a single leakage. I was so happy and Murphy's Law, that fourth one was the one that decided to leak. But I'll show you what I, I did. And this is what I think I'm gonna be doing every time going forward should i have a leak i'll let you know i will explain to you i mean keep watching
good god as you can see now i'm even holding the nail in a funny position because my finger my finger nail my fingertips are just in pain and exhausted <laughs> but anyway okay this is the nail that decides to give me beans so while i'm filing it this is the bottom part but toward when i turn it around that's when i realize that it has a leak and it has an air bubble actually i noticed the air bubble first and that's when i realized there's a leak and then i pressed the nail to see where the bubbles are forming which means that it will tell me where the air, the the air is escaping from where the hole is so i clean it up usually i clean it up remove like obviously the oil so that i can see where i need to go in and either put baby oil or first put top coat to just seal it and then fight it back down but then i realized the mistake that i've been making is why the minute i uh, find the mistake i want to fix it at the same time by applying top coat but then when i sh uh, when i file it off to give it the shape i realized that that hole is still there so this time i decided wait what if i carry on filing and shaping this nail as if it doesn't have a leakage so that when i i seal the hole i only put one layer of top coat and the thing is done i don't need to touch it again i hope that makes sense this is what i was doing here so i filed it with the e-file and then i filed it with the hand file and then after this i'm going to show you how um, I seal it properly with um, the baby. Uh, with with with. Oh, let me let me explain this. Sorry, I got distracted. Somebody walked into the room and I lost my chain of thought. But okay, what I'm doing now, it's it's shaped to my satisfaction, shaped down to my satisfaction. So then I press the nail to um, press out the air bubbles, and while I'm doing that with the other hand, I am letting the dropper. Uh, release some baby oil while I am letting go of the nail I'm not squeezing it anymore then it gets to suck in the baby oil I do this over and over until I don't see air bubbles anymore sadly what happens is the more you touch the nail as I'm cleaning it off the baby oil so that I can apply the gel unfortunately it sucks in air <laughs> so yeah as I'm doing this it sucks in air but it's not too much so it did leave some air bubbles back in there but it's not like the huge one that i had initially so mess sorted <laughs> all right so now after all this you could say the aquarium or liquid nails are done and then from here on you can do the decorations now i'm doing the the dash nail decorations after taking care of the shape of all the nails so if that's all you wanted to see, that's it for creating and building a tank. From here on, you're just going to be watching me doing the decorations. I want to take this time to thank everybody. I know I thank you guys every time, but you have no idea how appreciative and thankful and grateful I am for all of you. And for sharing my videos and liking them and subscribing and uh, leaving me nice informative and supporting and encouraging comments thank you guys for that these are coming on nicely oh wait one thing i, I wasn't too happy about they are moving too fast guys i they move too fast and then the bad thing is that the next nails the next aquarium nails they are ready uh, they move extremely slow like the total opposite of these nails <laughs> they move so slow i think i must put them in hot water for them i think I, it, it feels like the baby oil just became thick and it needs to be warmed up for the things to move around but yeah you'll have to sit and wait watch the space <laughs> for the next video sorry i'm out of frame here but i started off with the solid royal blue color and then now i'm coming in with the jelly blue to give it that um ombre look all right i'll come back in later keep watching
Okay, here we are at the end of it all. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you learned something from it and I hope you will be able to give me um, some feedback, what I could have done, what I should have done, and if I did well or if I didn't, let me know in the comment section below. You're most welcome. And if you've got nothing else to say but you are impressed, you can click on the like button. Um, let us end with a fun fact. Holding in a sneeze can damage blood vessels in your brain, among other things. So let that sneeze go, but you must cover your mouth and your nose. But you gotta sneeze, guys. Do not hold it in. Okay, everyone. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Take care. Subscribe. Oh, wait. Hold up. No, 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 no. <laughs> So this is the end eh, of Dash Nails uh, trying to recreate. But I'm calling it the Nail Inspo. I forgot this part because, because I didn't like the background being a bit foggy. I think it's the, the, the builder gel that I used. It's, I was using it for the first time for this, for aquarium nails. So it's not as clear. It's looking a bit foggy. So I decided what would happen if I use the jelly blue for the background, like at the back of the tank. Before curing it, I double checked and I seemed to like. So I ended up painting all four nails. That's why it became an inspo instead of a recreation. Let me know what you guys think. Let, you, let me know if I should have left them or if this was a better idea. I preferred this one better. But thank you, Dash Nails.